Hi, I'm Rui Rijo, and in this video, we will talk about communication planning. Why do we need communication? We need communication because as the number of persons and in, the, in, a, in a project increases, the number of communication channels also increases. So we need to manage the communication in order to avoid uh, confusion, in order to avoid uh, misunderstandings, in order to uh, provide uh, the right information to the right people uh, all, all over the project. So communication management includes the processes necessary for the generation, collection, dissemination, storage, and final disposal appropriate and timely of project information. So we will start for each sector, who needs the information, when the information is needed, is needed how will, will the information be delivered, and who will produce that information. So just to recap, we need to identify the actors, the people that are in the project, all the stakeholders, and define for each stakeholder, for each actor, who needs the information, what information is needed how it will be delivered, and who will produce this information. Then we need to define the technologies uh, that will support uh, that communication. And the factor that influence project communication technology can be the need for the immediate information, the availability of technology, the forecast of the project staff, and the duration of the project. However, I must stress in this point that you need to define a single source of truth. Don't use several repositories, just use one. Of course, this one can have different levels of using the information. So you can have a single source of truth, but using uh, different levels of authorization to access the information. But use just one single access of truth. And then you have to define which technology to use to communicate that single source of truth to each actors. And that depends on the analysis that we make of the actors. So again, we need to determine the information need for each project actors, the sources, and how it will be provided that uh, information. In doing so, we build the communication manage plan, which is a document that must exist in the beginning of the project with an information collection and storage structure, again, single source of truth, an information distribution structure, who will get the information how and when, and which regular, regularity, periodicity, which will be used in uh, updating that information, the description of the information that will be distributed, the work programs for the production of the communications, methods of accessing information between scheduled communication, and a method to update and refine the communication manage plan. However, communication is not only the one that is in the plan. You will have informal and formal communication, vertical and horizontal across the organization against the peers to the top management and to the team of the project can be written and oral, can be internal and external. All over the project, you will have to offer the progress and performance reports, project status reports, project process reports and forecasts. This is deeply important for all the team involved in the project and for top management, okay? You must communicate the status and the progress and what will happen next. And the production of the project performance reports is the task of the project manager. Okay, this is your task if you are doing project management. Nobody else tasks. The pace 
and the periodicity and uh, how it will be uh, delivered this uh, project status progress reports and forecasts is up to you but mainly we you will have status meetings okay uh, and you will have also some steering committees meetings where you update the, the the project status and process progress and forecast and you will require from the top management decisions another issue relating relating to the communication is the conflict management conflict will always occur you cannot avoid it and you have to choose the technique that you will use for the conflict management confrontation here we have a problem let's try to solve it agreement loss and gains approach we have a problem but uh, let's take a win-win situation to solve it a smooth okay we have a problem but let's emphasize the points of common interest the force win or lose approach okay we have a problem we try several approaches but we didn't solve the problem so it must be like this and withdrawal okay withdrawal from real or potential problems sometimes it's not the time to solve that problem you have to give some time and then you have to withdraw this is not always the correct approach but sometimes it's the best approach possible during uh, during the evaluation that the project manager does from the situation okay another issue is the rules for conducting meetings uh, meetings are very important but first of all determine if the meeting can be avoided or not having too many meetings reduce the focus of the team and reduce the the performance of the project however not having meetings have exactly the same effect so the number of meetings is needed not too many not too low another issue regarding communication is this the communication technology that you will use if we evaluate appointments of course do a meeting is excellent and suitable the telephone to reach a consensus excellent is the meeting and suitable is the phone to mediate conflicts meeting 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 if not possible the phone or other telematic uh, approach to resolve misunderstanding you don't need a meeting okay you can use the phone or other telematic uh, issues just to stress out that okay perhaps there was a misunderstanding let's be clear what we were saying and what is our goal to treat negative negative behaviors always meeting if not possible phone or any other telematic issues but here uh, meeting presidential and uh, private okay to expressing support and appreciation please use the formal communication and if not possible the phone voicemail or meeting but use uh, the formal make it clear make write it down to encourage creative thinking excellent email suitable the paper uh, meeting is also an another issue to encourage creative thinking avoid ironic statements and publish a reference document use the uh, website of the of the project it, it can be an internal website or an external website um, disseminate simple information uh, excellent in a meeting uh, suitable phone phone or website provide a permanent record a voicemail and an email place a simple order voice mail or email okay make an information request always 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 it can be verbal but 
it should be supported by an email. Give complex inst instructions, excellent meeting, suitable email and website. Communication with many people. Well, usually uh, you can do a meeting, you can do it by email, but it's suitable also to support by paper or a website or voice email. These are the key elements to uh, build a strong and useful communication plan. Uh, communication is a key role of the project manager. He is the hub of all communication. He cannot avoid it and he is responsible to get the things done properly in this issue. Bad communication is a bad project outcome. Good communication is a key issue for project success. I hope this video was interesting and suitable and I hope to see you in the next videos about uh, project management.